Hey folks, welcome back to Pokemon XD. Here in the uh, news center. And we are almost done, we only have three more Shadow Pokemon snag in here. And we won't be interrupted anymore. So hopefully the rest of this should be pretty streamlined. We got this person here. Why do they need props for a news station? I don't know. I don't know much about the biz. Now what's even more awesome is that every single trainer after that one has a Shadow Pokemon, so you'll actually be able to watch things. Anyway, that HP up reminds me that I have a couple item shenanigans to go through with. First off, let's just use that uh, on Rin for the hell of it. Second off, somewhere around here I have Water Pulse, which I promised I would teach to Rin. Get this by uh, clearing the second level of the uh, battle ba mount battle, second set of ten battles, and it's basically better than water gun in every way. And uh, also, I need to heal Fable briefly. And we are off, and you'll actually be able to see uh, Eevee and Fable go into action in this fight right here. Lobar. Don't like lumbar or lumber or a bunch of other weird words. Anyway, one thing that Fable has that is just absolutely awesome, especially this early in the game, is a very, very nifty move, which you are about to see, and is super effective against both these Pokemon. Um, let's go for the Sneasel because, you know, bias and all that. Heat Wave has excellent base power, hits both both opponents, and it's stabbed in this case. I think it's 100 base power when it's on a single opponent, so 50 on each, then boost by stab, stab, that's 75 on each. Basically the equivalent of doing more than Eber on both opponents. So until I get until I get uh, Flamethrower, this is pretty much going to be my go-to way. Oh, don't be like that. Unfortunately it does have less than perfect accuracy. Meanwhile, Eevee has takedown. It suffers from minor recoil, but damn, it does a lot of damage. That's base 120 attack for you. Anyway, there's a mischievous. Hi there, mischievous. Do it at the end of there. Also has dig, which is uh, useful sometimes. It's no replacement for Earthquake, but it's still alright. Well, that was a critical. That's actually kind of surprising. I guess Mischievous can take hits better. Uh, anyway, now that uh, all the non-ghosts on this person's team are taken out of the way, uh, EB is unfortunately not very useful from here on out. At this point, EB only has normal moves. Can't do much to ghosts. Gonna have to swap out briefly. Which is a good idea anyway, since I want to use the Thunder Wave on that Shadow Duskull there. Switch out over there. God, heat Wave just annihilates things. It's really great. This goes down. Let's see how much it does to Duskull. All right. I call Thunder Wave and Ember, and then it'll be ready for ready for snagging. You know, a couple of people wanted me to use Duskull one night, or thought that I was going to, and I really don't know where they got that idea. If Dusk Noir was in the third generation, and by transition this game, maybe I would have considered it, but. Dust clops really not too. I, I'm not too fond of it. Alrighty, you're ready to get snagged. Wasn't planning on it. And it's actually kind of dangerous to have uh, 
Oh, I can just call her red. Uh, it's uh, gonna point out that uh, Fable has Confuse Ray, which is nice if you want to annoy the hell out of your opponent, uh, but when you're trying to snag something, you don't want to accidentally kill itself. Gotcha! Only two more to go. Now then, let's heal real quickly. Kinda wish there was a PC nearby so I could uh, put Duskull into the purification chamber real quick. But oh well. I mean, I got three more, or two more just snags, so I'll have a total of three Shadow Pokemon, which is the perfect amount for my number of chambers. Hi there. I, I remember you. You don't look ex all that concerned. You could be like, I'm not running the hell away. And Feldus. I'm just now realizing how stupid most of these names really are. Anywho, I'm gonna take this opportunity to utilize Dig, even though I'll probably get screwed over by static hacks. I, I, I wanna show it off. I don't wanna abuse Heatwave too much. It's such a great animation, you know, just kinda takes an elevator down into the ground. And Hugh Cadabra goes down real easy. What a surprise. And there's a bigger off. That's probably the most threatening thing on this team. Just because it's strong, like, you know, high attack. But uh, luckily, EB has amazing physical defense as well as attack. 120 base on that, too. So Fable's more the concern here, and Fable was underground briefly, so... Not too much worried about. And it, it decided to focus energy, so I don't think there's any threat. Regardless... Regarding missing... It irritates me. I wish I could get Body Slam on Eevee there. And I know it's possible through a tutor, but the tutor in Agate did not want to teach it to him, either in the fan fee or the non-fan stage. Anyway, Flaffy goes down, I mean Flaffy, if we want to be all perfect about our pronunciation. Anyway, there's a Shadow Routes. Kinda neat, although at this point, uh, I would rather have a Shadow Curlia. Oh, damn. Such an awesome animation right there. Just pow. I love spinning. Anywho, I'm afraid the physical attacks by Eevee might destroy that route. So, again, Eevee's gonna switch out for Arca. And just gonna use Ember there. I apologize if it feels like I'm underrepresenting Eevee, it's just that Eevee's just too damn powerful. Oh, right, it traced the flash power. Uh, flash fire completely forgot about that. Which means that I'm actually going to switch out Fable as well. I mean, I'm gonna need some, some screen time. Especially to show off the water pulse, even though I won't be using it because it's probably too strong. And it's good it didn't have synchronized, otherwise I'd have another paralysis on my side. 
let's see, quick attack, and what's that part? Good old reliable whittling combo. And that was a critical. That is good whittling right there. And just because I'm scared Quick Attack might have a horrible critical, throw the ball on Arco's turn. Gotcha. Only one more to go.